Have you been there before? The scrapyard? Nah. Just seen the sign on my way to camp. What if we just, like, walk to the main road? This isn't the main road? No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever? Yeah. What was that? Let's just keep moving. Okay. So, I guess this is me now. What? You're gonna look great with a hook. We can call you Hooky McHookface. Yeah, I guess it's pretty unique. I could get different attachments for it. <laughs> yeah, man. Lean into it. One hell of a story, too. Yeah, I guess it's something to talk about on the radio station. We're all gonna be laughing about this in a few years. You, me, maybe even Ryan. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need a little me time to figure out the new Dylan before anything. New and improved Dylan. Dylan 2.0? Oh, well shit, now I want to be Caitlin 2.0. Hey, find me something sharp enough at the scrapyard and we can make that happen. <laughs> well, well, now's your chance, buddy. We're here. Oh, shit. Relax. It's a motion sensor. We're okay. I think. Oh, look. Steampunk's back in. Ew. Come on. This way. So what do we do now? Well, I guess we just make ourselves at home. Live up some cocktails, see what's on the TV. <laughs> you know? Why are you always so positive? Oh, why do you keep asking me that? Uh, I asked you about your confidence, not your whatever is happening right now. Oh, I don't know. I guess I just don't like to see other people sad. Oh, please. What? Is that really what you think of your followers? Just a bunch of sad sacks that need you to cheer them up? Well, come after me. Don't come after my followers. My emanation. You really need to come up with a better name for that. Hell yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck this nine, huh? Yeah. Come on. I want to hear you say it. Fuck this night, fuck it all the way to morning. <laughs> Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. Gotcha. You'll pay for what you did to my Kaylee. Everybody stop! Constant. What the fuck is going on up here? Uh, uh, wake up. Wake up. Darling, come on. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Oh. She's gone. Little Bobby. Mom's gone. Q. 
too. <sighs> no more party. No more protecting anyone. Travis. I'm close. Stand by. Over. You can't hide from- 
from me in my own house, fucker! You're a fucker. I can hear your breathing, little girl. There are bears around here? We ain't playing games no more, little girl. Try me, motherfucker. You know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you. But I sure to hell can make you suffer. Shooter, take her face off. You know what she did to Kaylee, and she killed your mother too. Wait! This isn't going 
gonna be too pleasant for you, I promise you that. You gotta help me. I do? Yeah, I promise. I won't tell anyone anything. No, man. Family first. Besides, I'll get in trouble. Please! You stole my knife! Yeah! <laughs> oh! Laura! Oh no, you've been bit! Pick on someone your own size. Travis! <laughs> You know, nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, Ryan. Oh, how bad is it? I'm so sorry. That bad, huh? I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting. First, Max, how are you? It's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? Wait. Maybe, maybe it will. What? Ryan, if you let me bite you. What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected, which means... Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means... Yeah. Yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <sighs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. And mine. And Max's and your friend's, too. Let you bite me. 
and live to kill Chris Hackett or bleed out and die. Pretty much, yeah. It's your call for now. So we doing this or no? Do it. Okay. Ah. Uh. Nice and tender for you. You should start to feel better soon, I guess. Bobby. Fuck. We gotta go. What? Uh, you got it. guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped of parts. Just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for... engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. <whistles> Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? Not to make too much noise. Oh, right. <laughs> Anything by you? <sighs> Not yet. Keep looking. Problem. Ugh, fuck sticks. I mean, there must be a way to open it. Mm -hmm. Maybe in that house thing. Let's take a look. These sons of bitches had it all planned out. Who's T? Mm -hmm. Looks like these guys were cooking the books a little. <sighs> Dodgy. You said it. Ah! 
Sorry, that was scary. That's so annoying. We are being hunted by literal monsters, and this is what bothers you? Yeah, both are bad. Brian's okay. He knows what he's doing. Probably safer than we are out here. Come on. What's this? Aram Scarum. See this, Caitlin? Look. So, you ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Uh-oh, I hear that, yeah. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um, just uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. Back grabber. What the hell is going on? My bad. All right. Here goes nothing. You did it! Yeah. Uh, I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score! Dylan! 
Dylan, thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? To play me in the movie about how brave I am. Don't push it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so, so much for our brilliant escape plan. Okay, back to the lodge. Are you nuts? <laughs> Better than being out in the open. Come on. We can't just sit here. Why not? Dylan said it's safe here. Well, yeah, I just... I don't want to be waiting around. But that's literally all we need to do. Just wait until morning, right? Fine. But we need protection. Go see what you can find. It's better than just sitting around. Hope it holds. Oh, fuck. Looks like the main fuse is gone. That's why there's no power? Why would somebody do that? What is it? Silver shells. How'd they get down here? The hunter must have dropped them. This is probably how he got upstairs and attacked Caitlin. These fucking guys are everywhere. What'd you find? Oh, I'm just checking out this ladder. Is that a tiny little door up there? Uh, yeah. We'll open it up. Why? We don't know what's up there. Exactly. Have you not been paying attention, like, at all? Okay, what I mean is, it might be good for us to have an escape route. You know, we don't know what's up there. It, it, the lodge, there, there also could be a, a way for us to defend ourselves. Okay. Guess that makes sense. Getting through there in a hurry. Man, this place is huge. I might need to rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out. 
maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Huh. What's that? Pray for on the right track. Stay close. Yeah, all the better to see you with, my dear. Shh. Watch your step. Yep. What was that? I think. I think we found Chris Hackett. Son of a bitch. Now everyone's back to normal? What? Oh. You think this is over? This isn't over. Uh, I don't understand Chris is dead. Oh. oh Chris wasn't the first. That's not possible. Caleb. Kaylee. The girl you killed? Her brother. What? <sighs> Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. We've been tracking him for years. He's a, a gypsy, a transient. He'd been long gone from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A feral albino child, giant white wolf. A wolf. What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, let him go! At the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Uh, he must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. We... we can help those who are still alive. In what world would I want to help you? There's at least three werewolves out there. You go by yourself, you're gonna die out there. So what happens if we kill Silas? Everybody gets better. And who bit him? Not sure. It all started when they rolled in with that freak show about six years back. But I knew he'd come back, eventually. Okay, okay, so where would we even find him? I know exactly where to find him. Okay, let's go. Okay. This doesn't mean I forgive you for what you did to me. I understand. Can, can someone please get me some fucking clothes? 